coming up next, my first impression of the just released in the US from Parfums to Marley. Have you guys seen this one yet? Haltan. Haltan, look at this cool green bottle. Not the kind of see-through like Greenly, but more of the you know, dark color, muted green, almost like a forest green. I'm gonna tell you what I think coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose here, from Os or here in Osme Perfumery. And uh, today, special treat, get to do a quick first impression of Haltan, which is the newest from the legendary house of Parfums de Marly. You can see the bottle there. It's like a kind of like, you know, a muted forest green almost with the traditional cap that they always have, the gold cap on the top. Um, so this is, you know, I can tell you right now, I think this is gonna be a huge hit for Parfums de Marly. Uh, this is one of those that I think is gonna be very mass appealing, great for the entry level um, perfume fan. If you're coming from designer world into niche, you're gonna love this, I think. And like all Parfums de Marly fragrances, if you just are a niche head and love niche, this is always one of the most quality uh, well-blended houses that you can find as far as longevity, performance, everything when it comes to these fragrances, they just, you know, Parfums de Marly is one of the absolute best. So let me kind of describe this. The notes at the top are bergamot, lavender, and clary sage. I don't know if I've ever seen at least that combination, which is very unique. And so when you spray it, and I've been wearing it here, and I'll just actually spray it again right here so you guys can see my impression. Um, so when you, when you first smell it, you get a very green, fresh, a little bit spicy, a little bit sweet smell. Um, and it's really nice. Again, it's really, I think, gonna be crowd-pleasing. One that you can pretty much wear anywhere. Great date fragrance. You could wear this to the office. I think you could pretty much put this on anywhere you want. And really any time of the year. This is one of those fragrances that's gonna be extremely versatile. Um, then you kind of, after you get into those top notes, it goes into middle notes of saffron and a note of praline. So, you know, the, the praline nuts, that's like super cool. Again, I don't recall ever seeing a fragrance with that particular note. Uh, if I have, I wasn't aware of it, but it gives it this little bit of a nutty, uh, almost, again, almost a, like a little bit of a candied nut. These pralines a lot of times are like candied, but this is not overly sweet. So I, I, I don't wanna you know, say it's like a candied nut, but it's like maybe just a little bit of nut with a little bit of sweetness on it. And then you have this, this beautiful base notes of cedar, elderwood, and of course, well, not necessarily of course, but oud. So this is, again, this is gonna be an oud uh, that is not gonna be a stinky oud. Think of like uh, a castor, which is one of their legendary fragrances that's really strong oud. This is very much a, again, I would call a beginner's oud. This is for someone who's looking to try oud for the first time. Uh, Haltan is gonna be a fragrance for you that will introduce you, much like oud for greatness, on, uh, from Initio. I think this is, if you like Initio, or I'm sorry, if you like Oud for Greatness, this is gonna be a great companion fragrance that I think people will like. And I think you'll actually see some comparisons between the two once you smell them. Um, it is just, again, it's, it's fresh. It's, uh, I think, I just wanna say very classic, manly, uh, gentleman fragrance. It's a little bit sweet. Again, you got those pralines and that saffron. And it's a little bit dry and aromatic, which I also like. So this is kind of like a very, it comes across to me as a, a very dry fragrance. And that's from that, that cedar. And of course the oud gives it that really solid foundation. Cedar and oud to me are two of the best woody notes to kind of put together. But I think, you know, my prediction, you see it right here on my channel now that this is going to be a huge hit. The reason why I say this was just released, it actually came out, I guess, you know, in 2011. You know, it's during the whole COVID thing and, and things were crazy during that time as far as launches and new releases. 
but they just released this now to the US market. It just came in here to Osme. They're the one of the first to get it. Um, so if you want to try it, obviously you can come here and try it. And yeah, it, it's going to be, it's going to be popular. I, I can't wait to see, I just saw it today actually for the first time. So I'm just literally getting the first impression of it right now on camera as we speak. And I think that throughout today, I'm filming this video on a Saturday that you're going to see a lot of people, uh, loving this throughout the day. I could see this kind of uh, selling out quickly and reorders coming quickly. So anyways, there you have it. My first impression of Haltan from Parfums de Marley. Uh, again, they always deliver. I'm not surprised that another quality fragrance from this house is out. They don't release fragrances over and over and over again. You see, they only release like one new one every year or so, or year and a half, sometimes even a bigger gap. So it's been a lot of time, a lot of research, a lot of reformulation to make sure they get it right and that it's just how they want it. So I think they uh, scored another home run here. Let me know what you think. If you guys have already tried it, I'm sure some of you all out there have gotten your nose on it. Let me know what you think. And uh, as always, I appreciate your guys' support and all of the comments and the interaction you guys bring to this channel. I'll be back soon with another video. Peace, love, and perfumes.